Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to model a low poly tree. Um, so we're just going to hop right into things. For the controls, we're going to use Shift F to move our camera freely. And we're going to click with our left mouse and that will set our camera. So that's how we're going to be moving around. The first thing we're going to do is insert a cylinder. And we're going to go down here where it says vertices. And we're going to set that to 7. Just like that. I'm just going to real quickly move this to like the middle, just so it's easier to work around. Just like that. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to extend this upwards, um, just like a tree would. So we're going to scale it in, just like that. And we're going to extrude it, press E to extrude, and scale it in just like that. Now we're going to give it kind of a low poly shape, like a more cartoony look. We're just going to scale it in a little bit and drag it over just like so. Just to kind of give it a more unique shape because not all trees are going to be perfectly, um, perfectly symmetrical. So in order to move these, you're just going to hold all and right click and that'll let you loop select all of these edges or in a ring. Uh, same for these. Um, next thing we're going to do is create some branches for this tree. So we're going to add another cylinder just like we did before. And we're going to lower it to about 5 vertices this time because it does not need to have that many like triangles. Um, or faces I mean, sorry. So we're going to rotate it. We're going to press R, X, and then we're going to rotate it 90 degrees so it can point in the direction a branch would point. So this is obviously way too thick so what we're going to do is scale it down just like that and place it on the tree where you'd like it to be. So I'm just gonna move it down just a little bit and we're gonna add about three branches. So here's our first one. We're gonna tab into edit mode. Oops. And if you guys are having a hard time following along, I'm gonna put all the controls that I use on the screen for you guys. Um, so you guys can kind of pause and catch up if you need to. So what we did, we scaled it down and we just kind of dragged it out like a branch would be. And you can, um, you can drag it however much you want it to be out, just like that. I'm going to do that one. We're going to tab back into object mode. I'm going to press shift D to duplicate that and rotate it on the Z axis 90 degrees. So R Z 90. And I'm just going to drag this down a little bit and put another branch kind of right about here. Uh, I'm going to scale this one like in a little bit so it's not so thick. So just uh, press A to select everything and then S to scale it down. I'm going to grab this face out and kind of move it up a little bit. Just give it a kind of curve to it. And then I'm just going to duplicate this branch one more time and put one on the back side. So RZ 90. So that rotates it on the Z axis 90 degrees. And we'll put this one kind of up a little. Just like that. This is just me being a little picky. But I'm going to scale this one down a little bit and I'm going to change up the curve a little bit just so that it doesn't copy the other branch. So we're just going to make it do that. So now that we've got our trunk done, we're going to start on the leaves. So what we're going to do for the leaves is insert a cone. And we're going to lower the vertices to 7 like I have it down here. Yours might be 32 when you insert it. Just change it to 7. Uh, we're going to scale these leaves up and then drag it down. Just like that. And kind of center it on top of your tree. Just like that. This will be the bottom leaves. We're going to do three layers of leaves. So I'm going to tab into um, edit mode. We're going to select our vertices at the top here. And we're going to drag it down just like that. Um, quick tip, if you make any mistakes, you can press Control Z to undo any mistakes like I did just now. Alright, so we're going to duplicate that. Just Shift D and click and rotate it on the Z axis about 90 degrees and move it up. There's our second layer of uh, leaves. We're going to make it a little smaller than the first layer just kind of like that. I'm going to grab this part and drag it up a little bit just because I think it should be a little taller, a little more narrow than the last one. And finally we're going to rotate our last layer of leaves. We're going to duplicate it and rotate it one last time. Just like that. And for the final one, I like usually having it just the tallest as it can be, just like that. 
So there is our basic tree. You can kind of adjust the leaves now to accommodate like how you prefer the star to be. Um, I'm going to tilt them just a little bit just to give it kind of a cartoony look just like that. Now select all the leaves, hold right, uh, alt, right click, or no, hold right click, sorry, and shift and then control J and join them all together. And do the same thing for the trunk, just like this, and control J. So now our trunk is separate from our leaves. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to export each of them separately. So file, export, wavefront, or .obj, make sure selection only is uh, pressed right there, and export the leaves. What we're going to do is right click in studio, insert object, and mesh part. And we're going to go right here where it says mesh ID under your properties tab. And we're going to insert our untitled mesh, which is basically our tree mesh. I just didn't give it a name in Blender. So as you guys can see, our, uh, our leaves are right there. We're just going to copy and paste that and then we're going to import the leaves or the trunk as well. Just like that. And insert the trunk. All right, now we can color our trunk and leaves however we prefer them to be. I'm going to make mine like a green color. Um, and you can use your little uh, color picker down here to change like the leaf color, just like that. So I'm going to make mine like something like this. So as you guys can see here, that's how I made these low poly leaves or these low poly trees. Um, if you want a cartoony, you can kind of scale them up, make sure you anchor them. And uh, yeah, that's how you would make low poly cartoony looking trees and trunks and stuff like that in Blender. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, found it helpful or learned any new techniques, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be doing more like uh, low poly tutorials like this. I'm going to start a whole new series where I teach you guys like just the basics. And um, yeah, they'll all kind of follow this format. So if you guys enjoyed this, found it helpful, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, share it with somebody who you think would enjoy this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.